Josh on the train. I ain't no convict, but we're going to the cell. I got a PMA and a T as well. Double that, spin back. Do it again, that's facts. In our face is the first T, phase two is the last. Let's talk about these and the ones that we pass. In our phase is where the whole process begins. Then the G1 phase is where the cell gets big. The S phase is where the chromosome replicates. The G2 phase, yes, we're going there. It's the final stop that the cell must prepare. Pro phase is the P from the PMA. Chromosome stick together and swap DNA. This whole process can go many ways. Like what if this was that, or that was this, or these were there, or this was that, or something of another. It's why you don't look like your brother, even though you share your father, even though you share your mother. Metaphase is the M from the PMA. It prepares chromosomes to be pulled away. It lines them up vertically at the center. Center you'll shoot spindles perfectly at the center. And phase is the A from PMA. It's where the chromosome pairs get pulled away. Now there's two chromosomes. Chromosomes on each side of the cell. Telophase is the T from the T as well. In which spindle fibers they disappear. Then the cell splits in two. There's one here and there, unlike the other. PMA, prophase two. There's no swapping of the DNA. Metaphase two. We are gonna enter. The chromosomes are pulled to the center. There's two cells now. Don't forget. And a phase to the sister chromatids, they split, then they go to opposite sides of the cell. Then you know I got a sequel to the T as well. Again, the spindle fibers, they disappear, leaving chromosomes split, one there and here. And then the two cells, they split into four, and now we are back to where we started before.